Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to publish a valve to Autorisk Inventor's Content Center. First, I'm going to show the valve, which I've downloaded as a step file from the George Fisher Company website, and we're going to set this up to be published to Content Center. First, I'm going to go to Manage, and I'm going to choose Tube and Pipe. This will let me set up the rules for this valve. I'll go ahead and set its type to valve, make sure it's got two connections, and then tell Inventor where those connections are. I'll also go ahead and give it engagement direction, flipping it so the arrow is going the correct direction, just like that. Tell it that in this case it's going to be a joint, basically this is a PVC valve. Nominal is one inch, that's correct. And then we could put in things for isogen if we want to, those are optional, as well as how much engagement the pipe needs to have. Then I'll repeat the same steps for the opposite side, making sure we have correct engagement and direction. The purple arrow needs to point outward. Double check all my settings and hit OK. Now this is set up as a tubing and pipe, we're ready to go ahead and publish it to our content center. So I'll hit publish, tell it which library to go to, language, category, it's already picked valve for me. And then I can go ahead and give it nominal, cutting pipe, any information I want to add, although I'm just going to take defaults for this case. Everything right down to schedule and pipe sizing. Clicking through next, I can go ahead and give it key columns. I'll add just a couple here. Next one more time and I can go ahead and flesh out any kind of types, descriptions, standards if I need to and so on. As much or as little information as I need. Once all is said and done, I can complete that and it'll go ahead and publish to my content center. So now let's see this in action. I've got a frame with a component or uh, with a pipe route already in place and I'll just go ahead and place that in. And since it's a content center part, I can go ahead and get it. There it is right there. But since this is a content center part, when I go ahead and drop it in, it drops right into my pipe route. With a click, places itself. I can orient it. Make sure my handle's in the right spot, for example. But once that's placed in, we can see that it also trims the pipe. So it knows that this pipe has to be cut and also gives it the proper engagement. Those were part of those initial settings. But there we go. A very quick example how to take a valve, download it from a website, publish it, and make it a part of your content center tubing and piping library. Thanks for watching everyone.